Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in another video on the 1.16 Survival World uh, or Snapshot Survival World. And we are back in this series because 1.17 Snapshots are just around the corner. They will probably be starting by the end of November. Um, hopefully. That is not confirmed. It's just a guess as Bedrock has started getting betas and they don't normally release Bedrock betas um, first. So we should be getting 1.17 snapshots soon. So I thought why not just jump back onto this world. I do have a couple of texture packs on just to make Minecraft look a bit better. As you can see the sun is um, 3D. Uh, I will link the texture packs in the description if you guys want to download them. And a few things I want to talk about before we get into the actual survival. Also the moon's 3D. Um, off the camera I have been doing quite a lot. Uh, a lot to get this world a little bit more prepared for when we return or return to it which is today um i've made up here look a bit nice and i still haven't finished this i have a plans of building something here once 1.17 blocks and features gets added uh, to the game and as you can see i've started to spawn proof all of this so things can't spawn up here um but if you guys are new to this series what it is is basically in uh, i started the world in 1.16 snapshots i believe um and this is the base that i was building um i was getting you guys to name uh mobs that were going around it so we have uh, mushrooms there we should have turtles but i think they all despawned or died there's one turtle left uh which is called ogway i think no this is ziggy um that we have there we then have pandas in this enclosure uh which we've got uh winnie um just a recap of all the names there we go uh, mr bamboo uh patrick and samuel and then we have uh fox or uh snowy foxes in this enclosure which uh they should all be here we've got frank um we've got uh what's this one called this one i think should be called sheep uh that's flynn frank sheep and where's the fourth the fourth one is right here called swiper so there's the four of them uh i need to get the four uh zoglings not the zoglings the four uh turtles back and we then also had a secret passage through here that had some mobs in it that you guys named. So if I shoot that, there's a target block under that block I just shot. Uh, there is uh, Gimpy. Um, there is Rocky. And I think this one's called Beastie or Beast. Uh, do you want to come over here so I can see your name? Uh, what is your name? Um, it is Beastie. Okay, so, but these are, this room, as you can see, is not completely finished. I did have them all like that, and I changed it out so they're cages. And I'm not completely happy with this room still. Um, so let's quickly head out here. Talk about another few things that I have planned for this series. Um, in the future, obviously, with the 1.17 snapshots coming out. I want to, obviously, update a lot of things. Make things fit in with a caves update. Um, I will be building a cave on this island that goes underground about there. Uh, that will obviously be a new cave or I will make it a new cave. Because obviously new caves won't generate in loaded chunks. So we'll have to go out a few thousand blocks to get them new chunks. Um, another thing is if I go into... The actual main base. Okay, we are now in the main base. I've got these in all four of the little uh, chambers. So this one, that one, that one, and also that one. And these are going to house the most useless mob, the glow squid. We're going to have a glow squid or one or two glow squids in each one. Um, so when they get added, uh, I will be asking you guys to name them four or uh, four. I think there will be, if not, there will be eight. Um, I'm not too sure yet, but this did have fish in there. I've got the fish, I think, stored in one of these uh, barrels. Um, I can't remember what one. Um, they're here somewhere. Um, where are they? There we go. We've got Paul, 
Uh, Mr. Fishy, Jeff, and I think there should be one more somewhere. Can't exactly remember where. They are stacked from when I uh, glitched to get, uh, when I updated to the combat snapshot. Um, and they stayed stacked. I didn't uh, think I didn't think they would. So yeah, that is some of the plans for the uh, future of this world uh, or series. Um, another thing is one of these rooms are here. So that one, that one, or that one. Yeah, I want to start uh, putting some of your, um, so instead of naming mobs, because that's what I was doing for you guys to inter interact with a series, I was getting you guys to name mobs that were going in these enclosures. Due to these enclosures, I'm probably going to redo all four of them once the Caves and Cliffs update releases. I'm not too sure what will happen with them yet. Um, but instead of naming mobs, I will be putting your guys' uh, names in one of these rooms. Most likely, um, it'll be this one here. Is this the one that's finished? No, this one's not finished. It will be this one right here then. Um, so I'll be putting like a sign on the wall with your guys' names on. Um, so then we'll have everyone's name on uh, in this room. Um, how you get your name in here, I'm not too sure yet. Um, I'll probably have that decided by next episode. It'll probably be something uh, to do with comments or something like that. Um, but yeah, so to start off this episode, or to start off uh, something in this episode instead of talking, I want to try and fly out in uh, here. And I want to head to the Guardian Farm. Because the last thing I know, the Guardian Farm was broken. And um, it weren't actually working. And I have no idea why it weren't working. And uh, let me try and get in one of these nether portals. Um, it's a pain to do. But uh, let's just go down to this nether portal over here. Right, so guys. If I just quickly enter my seed in there. Um, we are on the most updated version of Minecraft. So, we are at... Um, my coordinates were... Um, 2000, I'm slowly going to probably die here. Nope, we're okay. So I'm at two fa minus 2200, 700. So let's quickly just go back to the um, thingy here. So my, this is, uh, that's a minus 2200, which is um, roughly around here. And then uh, 700, which is it here. So yes, there is an ocean monument. There should be an ocean monument here in a chunk. Um, in chunk one. Uh, in chunk uh, one uh, hundred minus one hundred thirty nine forty four. So guys, if we quickly just find out where the chunk is located again, um, it is located. There you go, chunk one hundred thirty nine forty four. So there should be an ocean monument right uh, in this chunk that I'm standing in. So 16 blocks uh, in this chunk. And as you guys can see, it's not registering as an ocean monument. I have no idea why that is. Um, if you guys know how that can be fixed, let me know. But I don't think I've done anything for it not to register. And I don't think they changed anything with ocean monuments in 1.16 either. Um, are there any guardians spawning outside of this? Is it? Could it be that um, there's too many like fish and squid spawning? No, because they uh, separated the mod mob cap. Um, I'm pretty sure. So squids and guardians are not in the same mob cap. Anyway, I have no idea how to fix this, so we'll leave this for now, and hopefully come back to this soon. Alright, so guys, we're now at a witch farm, and we do have two shulker boxes, one full of bone blocks, and one full of bone blocks and some totems. Let's quickly just take these. We have anything else here, just a load of potions, and obviously our ender chest. Um, let's glide down here to our storage and see what things we have down here. Um, okay, we have a lot of gunpowder, spider's eye, rotten flesh... We don't have much redstone sticks. Okay, I will take a few stacks of sticks. Um, we've also got loads of arrows, string, 
Um, not many bottles, sugar, glowstone. Okay, so let's now, I need to finish that bee head as well. Uh, let's now go back, and on our travel back, we pass the, um, what is that there? What is that? Oh, it's a leaf. Uh, we pass the villager trading hall, so maybe we can pop in there, see if our valuable box is, um, in there. As I really have no idea where it went. The only thing I can think of is it got blown up um, when we was building the villager trading hall as there was a explosion and a lot of things got uh, blown up and I might have not picked it back up. So if I quickly just head into this. Also, um, I've started to clear away this. I do need to like terraform all this again, but that will be done at a later date. Uh, probably maybe on a live stream or something. So let's quickly head through here. As you can see, I've started to build like a second one. Because this one we've got um, to trade for emeralds. So is it in here? Um, no, there's just loads of emeralds there. What about up here? No. Hmm. Anywhere else it could be? I don't think it'd be in these. No, that's just loads of... Um, Things for potions. Maybe down here it might be. Let me put that back. Is there any like chests down here that it could be in? There's a chest over there. Could it be in that? No. Um, I know this is like where it blew up. Did I like hide a chest down here? Uh, I don't think I did. No, because it's a ravine. Um... I don't think there's anywhere else it could be. To be honest, there is a chest down there though. Let's quickly just go and check this chest. Let's quickly just go over here. As this is where our iron farm is. It Our iron farm is up there. And let's just take like this and see what we can actually craft. Cauldrons, why would we need cauldrons? Mine, see, there's nothing we really need with iron. If we craft them, then we can craft chains. Uh, but that we don't really need chains either. Okay, so how much iron do we have here? Um, none at all. Okay, so maybe if we take uh, this one with us and keep this on us at all times, just so it's we have like a backup set of iron, that may be good. Um, and then uh, anything else we really need? Maybe having twisting vines, not twisting vines, the other ones. Uh, twisting vines and weeping vines may be in the caves. Because now they're going to be a lot bigger. It might be better to have like uh, ways to get up and down places easier. Oh my god, there are so many turtles. Uh, why are there so many turtles? Um, Die. Are any of these named? Because I know that one of our turtles got out and it like started to swim somewhere. Um, no. Okay. Right. So, let's talk about one more thing. Uh, before I end this series, uh, this episode, not series, the series only just begun again. Um, this Mushroom Island, I have plans for the island. I want to turn this whole island into a um, medieval uh, themed... Uh, like area so the whole island will meet uh, will become or at least most of the island will become medieval themed um, but we probably won't start that yet um, I'm not too sure uh, I think we might start it next episode it depends on when the next episode is and if there is a snapshot before next episode and I really like the way that pool uh, sits in the middle there but yeah, I literally, I just want to, because I've never really built medieval, uh, I normally go for futuristic modern builds. Uh, I just want to try something new. And I think that Mushroom Island is the best place to do it because uh, medieval, you don't really light up uh, things that much. And obviously we don't want mobs spawning on it. So uh, with Mushroom Island, you don't need to light it up that much. And I did just notice that cat had moved. Let's go back up here and move the third cat back down. Let's flip that pressure plate up. There we go. 
Uh, this cat should be on that one, that uh, carpet right there. Uh, there we go. Good jelly. Right, they should all now be back on the normal platforms. This creeper farm is now done. I'm really annoyed that the guardian farms stopped working, but there's nothing I can really do about that unless I find a way to fix it. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe if you're happy that this series is returning. Hopefully snapshots don't take too long so we can jump straight into some new features and start building and uh, transporting some goats and some wardens and all that into this area. Because I can't wait to get a warden uh, into this area of the base. I will most likely might build something up here for the warden. So we can have a warden right at the top of the base on a show or something. I'm not too sure yet. Um, and also axolotls. I can't wait to get some of them. Um, what else? Goats, axolotls, wardens and the glow squid. They're the only four confirmed mobs. But we will most likely get uh, a few more mobs that they haven't confirmed yet. But I can't wait for them uh, free. The glow squid. Uh, it's just a squid that glows. But it don't really glow. Uh, it's a squid that uh, don't really glow. That is it. It's the don't glow squid. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.